what a career trajectory it has been for one Derrick Rose. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NBA here to talk about one Derrick Rose who is headed to the Utah Jazz, but he won't be staying there very long. I will explain why very shortly. But with that being said, I do want to mention, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Turn on post notifications for all of the latest sports news with the NBA trade deadline just passing, a couple of NBA NFL news coming out. I'm going to keep you guys updated with all of the new news and give you guys my analysis on that so you guys are going to want to stay locked in here. So make sure you guys are subscribed. But with that being said, here to talk about today's topic, which is Derrick Rose, and he is headed now to the Utah Jazz. And as I mentioned before, he won't be staying there because the Jazz will be waving Derrick Rose, okay? So Derrick Rose was shipped to the Utah Jazz from the Cleveland Cavaliers as part of that huge three-team deal that I did discuss in another video, so go check that out in my recents. And basically, Jay Crowder and Derrick Rose were sent to the Utah Jazz in that deal in which the Cavaliers basically cleaned house, okay? So now, why am I, of course, talking about Derrick Rose at this point? Because we all know it. he is not the same player he once used to be. Well, because, you know, people still care about Derrick Rose. There's still a lot of Derrick Rose fans out there. I, for one, am still a Derrick Rose fan. And people from, you know, watching him in the Chicago days still remember him as the MVP. But, of course, that's a long time ago. But with that being said, it's still relevant in terms of D. Rose and seeing where his career is going to go right now because at this point, I mean, could it get any worse? I mean, my God, Derrick Rose, he's down to averaging, what, 10 points a game, 1.6 rebounds, 1 point, uh, sorry, 6 assists, 1.8 rebounds a game. It has been a downward spiral for 1D Rose. Like I said now, who is basically getting released and cut, okay? If I told you that in 2011 that Derrick Rose would be getting released and cut and on his third and fourth NBA team. I mean, I don't know. What would you would probably call me crazy? I think I think you would call me crazy. But that's just how uh, life has set for Derrick Rose. There needs to be a 30 for 30 on this man's career because it was certainly an interesting trajectory like I mentioned before. But with that being said, let's move forward and talk about the teams or team that he might be interested in joining. Now, obviously, after the Ro Rose trade to the Utah Jazz broke, there was a lot of reporters, Mark Stein being one of them, saying that Derrick Rose would gauge his interest to join a playoff contender. And that was the main reason he wanted to get a buyout from the Jazz because I don't think Derrick Rose wants to play for the Jazz, and I quite frankly don't think the Jazz want Derrick Rose anyways, okay? And a lot of teams don't at this point, and for good reason. He's not very good, okay? Uh, but with uh, Mark Stein reporting that he was looking at playoff teams, the logical sense that the logical team that made sense was the Minnesota Timberwolves in Tom Thibodeau and Derrick Rose having a reunion. As you guys all remember, I'm sure the good old days with the Chicago Bulls in which Tom Thibodeau was the head coach, Derrick Rose was winning the MVP award and Jimmy Butler was on that team, Joakim Noah, guys like that. So uh, back to those days with Taj Gibson. And now you're going to basically get the Minnesota Bulls, if you will, if Derrick Rose ends up joining the Minnesota Timberwolves because, like they, like I mentioned, they've got Jimmy Butler, they've got Taj Gibson. Now if they add Derrick Rose and Tom Thibodeau, that's four former Bulls right there. Uh, but uh, in all seriousness, I do see somewhat of a fit here just because, like I said, he would obviously slot in as a backup point guard. Yes, they've got Tyus Jones there, and he's had some spurts of being decent but if you're taking away minutes from Tyus Jones, is it the worst thing in the world? I don't think so. And at this point, Minnesota is trying to win. They're not trying to develop any young guys. So Derrick Rose could help them off the bench as a spark score, if you will. So I, I don't think it's a horrible move. And like I said, if it's for the minimum, at this point, there's absolutely no risk and all the reward in the world. Who knows? Maybe Tibbs is able to extract some juice left. Out of Derrick Rose. Let's see what happens. Maybe Tibbs can work his magic again or he can take everything else from his knees that is possibly left. But with that being said, I don't think it's the world, worst thing in the world. I could definitely see this happening. And I do think this is what ends up happening. I think Derrick Rose signs with the Timberwolves. He, he, him and Jimmy Butler, you know, there was reports when they were in Chicago that they were butting heads on whose team it was. 
but I think they get along just fine. And I think Jimmy's going to want D-Rose on the team, knowing D-Rose knows his damn role, having just played with freaking LeBron James, okay? I don't think Derrick Rose thinks he's an MVP anymore, so I don't think that is going to be an issue. But like I said, provide some veteran stability, provide some scoring off the bench, you're able to give them some depth. I think Derrick Rose could help the Timberwolves in that sense. Now, again, in the grand scheme of things, does this make a big difference for the Timberwolves? No. Like I mentioned, he'll probably play 20 minutes off the bench. That's basically what he is at this point in his career. So, to me, that is basically what is going to happen. A couple other teams that I thought about that could make sense for Derrick Rose, a, a team like Milwaukee, maybe. Uh, they did just lose Malcolm Brogdon for a couple months, so they do need some depth at point guard behind Eric Bledsoe. Now, of course, they have Matthew Delavadova, but like I said, Delavadova is more of a defensive stopper. Rose can add a little bit more scoring, if you will. So Milwaukee could make sense. That's a play potential playoff team. Then you've got maybe a team like the Pelicans who don't have a lot of depth behind Drew Holiday, okay? So they just traded away Jameer Nelson, um, and they've got Rondo there. So, I mean... Really, he could still slot in as a backup over there. They could use his scoring with the loss of DeMarcus Cousins. And then one final team, and I know this is a long shot, but this would be a great team for Derrick Rose, honestly, would be Houston, okay? Uh, right now, uh, there's really no true backup point guard to CP3. It's basically Harden and CP3 trade-off at playing point guard. Mike D'Antoni staggers their minutes, but... Just imagine what Mike D'Antoni could possibly do with Derrick Rose. He's This man has resurrected a lot of NBA players' careers, folks. I'm telling you, Mike D'Antoni is a magician on offense. And at this point, uh, Derrick Rose on, on, on defensive end, he's a lost cause. We know that. So offensively, that's the only thing you can possibly extract out of D'Rose. So I'm interested. I'm intrigued by this. Houston would be an interesting fit for Derrick Rose. Now, they've got Eric Gordon. But he's, like I said, a wing player. He's, he's not a point guard type. Uh, Derrick Rose could back up CP3. And again, what are you losing, right? You, you have some uh, depth in Gerald Green and Air Gordon and guys like that. But there's really no true point guard like I mentioned. So I don't think this is the worst idea in the world as well. So if it is not Minnesota, I would love to see Houston as a potential landing spot for Derrick Rose. But like I said, in the grand scheme of things, does it make a big difference? No, it does not. Like I said, this is what Derrick Rose has been relegated to at this point in his career. And it is what it is. So there you have it, folks. Those are my thoughts on Derrick Rose and where I think he ends up. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Hit me up on my social media, Twitter, Instagram, link down below for that. And as always, make sure you guys subscribe. Thanks for watching.